Well, this is a derby in the English capital that always carries weight and substance, a rich history to draw upon. Stay tuned, we'll bring you all the action from North London as Arsenal face Spurs. And here we are in North London. Tottenham Hotspur have made the short journey to the Emirates, ready to face their old rivals, Arsenal. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. Stuart, always something special this occasion. Well, it certainly is. They say this stadium lacks atmosphere, but not today. Just listen to that noise. This is going to be a really feisty affair, you have to say. Number six, And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. And Spurs will go with this starting 11. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Dejan Kulusevski plays with Hyun Min Son out wide. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. Now this game... ...should offer plenty. Arsenal get it going. Gabriel, Jorginho, Alexander Zinchenko, Xhaka, targets available, cross comes in, Hugo Lloris with a straightforward save, well a long range efforts but no real difficulties for the goalkeeper. Careless in possession. Well, understandably, a lot of interest in Harry Kane and how he might perform in this match. Stuart, what are you expecting? Well, Derek, I'm sure he's going to score another. Harry Kane! A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Arsenal restart the game then, and they have work to do as they try to wipe out that last goal. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. Well read to ease the pressure. Davis. Hyung Min Son. Effective work from Arsenal to regain possession. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Gabriel Jesus. Options in the centre. Well, not the best clearance. And he's fired it against the post. And a time for cool heads. Well, I thought that was the equaliser for Arsenal. But they're playing well now and should get another chance to get... today the hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium the tension palpable it is juventus 
They take on Milan next on EA TV. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. It is Juventus up against Milan. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Juventus will line up. Wojciech Szczęsny between the posts. <laughs> Philip Kostic plays with Juan Cuadrado in the wide positions. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Sandro Tonali. Well, an experienced forward is a must for any side, and Olivier Giroud has bags of experience. Stewart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. And behind it goes the concession of a corner here. Playing it short. That was perfectly timed, and it is going to be a corner. Taken short. Care. No way through. Vlahovic. Radio. And in with a real chance. Oh, denied by the keeper. Well, what more can you say? That's goalkeeping at its very best. Example of how to do it, dealing with a corner. It is a Spanish football rivalry that quite simply speaks for itself. The two most successful teams in Spain with such passionate fans. Stay with us, we'll bring you all the action live from the Bernabeu as Real Madrid face Barcelona. They are the two foremost...
And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. And he read it superbly. Could play it in. And you don't want to lose possession there. And saved by the keeper. It's a short corner. Tremendous block from Modric. Not a touch off the defender, last of all. So a corner. Well, they're going for the short one. And there's the feed into the box. Well, it still could be dangerous. And in the end, no damage done. Karim Benzema, who's played at such a high level in an attacking sense for so long. Stuart, what? it's got to be! And not an effort that will live long in the memory. Well, the defenders will be relieved because that was a good chance. From that sort of distance, he should really be hitting the target. It was a really poor attempt in the end. Well, making high pressing work for them here. And beating the defender. A lovely attempt! And the goalkeeper's touch, that was crucial. And Barca's corner. Going short, and Lewandowski waiting. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Sergio Busquets. Making progress. Well, possibilities inside the box. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Tension is palpable, and you can understand why. Two high-level sides about to face each other, and it's anyone's guess how this is going to end up. It's PSG, they face Olympic Lyonnais, and it's live here on EA TV. And good evening to you from the Parc des Princes here in the French capital, Paris, the venue for tonight's action. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you live action from Liga. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Olympic Lyonnais. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Marquinhos plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defense. Fabian plays alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And leading the line, Lionel Messi plays alongside Kylian Mbappe. Oh, he's through on goal here, Derek. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that?
They favoured a short one here. Determined defending. Vernat. Mbappe. On to Bernat. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, it's fair to say nobody does it quite like Paris Saint-Germain when it comes to scoring goals. Best attack in the league. Well, the movement of the front players is key. They're always threatening the space behind the opposition. And when the ball does go wide, they work so hard to find that bit of room away from their markers. They've been brilliant. And these fans have been treated to some great football. Well, they fancy a short one. And cutting inside. Can he finish? And the keeper was up to the task. Corner again. Delivering it. And the problem not completely solved. Just the challenge that was required. That'll be a Lyon ball. Intelligent threaded pass here. Defended well. And plenty of room in the wide area. Just the clearance that was needed. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Can he put them in front? And up for grabs off the keeper. Well, real difficulty.